Welcome back to Cindy's Library. This is Cindy, and today I'm going to do the end of the year book tag. So, do I have... Uh, I'll try to remember to put the link of the person who originated this with this. And yeah, we shall see what my answers are. This isn't a particularly long book tag. There's only six questions. So are there any books I started this year that I hope to finish? Yes. Now I didn't get that far into this, yes, but American Dialogue by Joseph J. Ellis. The Founders and Us. Basically talking about what the founders can teach us today in today's political world. And given the election that is coming soon, well, let's just say that felt appropriate. Um, do I have an autumnal book to transition to the end of the year with? Uh, one moment, I forgot to grab that one. Got it now. Yes, The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. Uh, this is set in uh, somewhere, I'm pretty sure, in Eastern Europe. At least it's connected to Eastern Europe. I know that one for sure. Um, lots of academic vibes, lots of autumnal vibes, lots of spooky vibes. So yes, this, I'm hoping to get to this, this autumn. Let's see, is there a new release I am still waiting for? Well, yes, I am waiting for Wind and Truth by Brandon Sanderson. You'll notice, however, in my videos over the past uh, a little over nine months now, I haven't mentioned Brandon Sanderson. That is because I am still on the way of kings. So I'm very much looking forward to Wind and Truth, but it's going to be a while till we get there. I'm hopeful I'll be able to get through the first arc of the Stormlight Archive before book six comes out at this rate. Uh, but yes, there are three books I want to read by the end of the year um that would be these three uh, moby dick um, a nice way into it but i still have quite the ways to go and the black arrow by robert louis stevenson and Volume 1 of the Three Kingdoms. I was hoping to do all of the Three Kingdoms this year. Not going to happen, but I've gotten a fairly respectable amount in here. So Volume 1, that is, that is within the realm of possibility at this point, I think. Is there a book you think that could still shock you and become my new favorite book of the year? I guess I should say your favorite book of the year. The answer is yes. And that is The Wood at Midwinter by Susanna Clark. Now that one, I understand, is back in the world of Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. And if that is true, that would be absolutely amazing. Not, I understand, a particularly long book. But as Susanna Clarke proved with Pierre Nassi, she doesn't need to write a long book to have quite the impact. So looking forward to that, and that could become a favorite of the year. I started making plans for next year, only tentatively. Next year, well, I'm sure I will be doing a lot of the same things. Uh, Feb Regency, uh, Middle Grade March, uh, Ancient Sathon, Jane Austen July, Victober, 
nonfiction November, possibly some other things, although how much I participate in any of them is yet to be determined. And of course, uh, we will always hope for more books from favorite authors. Aside from that, though, I am waiting basically for the Literary Life podcast to put out their 2025 challenge to really sit down and figure out my reading plans for next year. Except I would like next year to be the year of Dante. But based on what the Literary Life challenge is like, that could be put off again. However, I did get some things done this year I really wanted to. For and not for the Literary Life podcast challenge. So we will have to see what that challenge is like. Probably Dante can't say a whole lot out at the moment though. So I have no idea who has done this tag yet or not. If you would like to do this tag, consider yourself tagged. And yeah, how has your reading this year gone so far? What are your plans for the last few months as we finish out this year? I'd love to hear all about it. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly do appreciate it. So until next time, I hope we all stay safe and healthy. And as always, happy reading.